Okay, Sagittarius. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> it's been a day. Oh my lord, it's been a day. Okay. Um, this is going to be your new moon in Sagittarius reading. I'm still trying to figure out where to look. I, I'm hoping I'm looking at the right point. I don't have my glasses on. I had to move the camera around because the Ophiuchus reading got all messed up, but it's the second time I did it, so I'm not redoing it. <laughs> The, my intention is for these to be super quick and short. God, I hope I'm looking at the right point. <laughs> it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, this is going to be a message from your person. Um, and it, please look up your Vedic and Sidereal signs on Astro Cafe. Um, my computer also decided that it was going to stop recording. So, I'm using my phone and I had to connect it to the ring light to get enough light but if I have my glasses on you see this huge glare and it's weird to not like actually look at myself is that is that right can, can you see me <laughs> at the right point should I be looking over here I don't know guys anyway just uh, bear with me all right we're gonna pull messages from the divine and we're gonna pull messages from your person for those of you that are interested in dealing with the past person okay and forgive me if I'm not looking in the right point <clears throat> messages for Sagittarius December 14th, 2020, messages for Sagittarius, messages for Sagittarius, December 14th, 2020, messages for Sagittarius, December 14th, 2020. Messages for Sagittarius. What is coming through for Sagittarius? December 14th, 2020. Thank you. Mm. Messages for Sagittarius. December 14th, 2020. Messages for Sagittarius. December 14th, 2020. Messages for Sagittarius, December 14th. Thank you. Okay. So, sorry, I have to look at the right point. We have closure. Peace, which is also inner peace, hopefully. Inner peace and friendship. Yeah. At the top of the deck, we have healing in reverse. At the bottom of the deck, we have protection. So closure. For me, this is a relationship that you've been hanging on to. Someone you thought would come back and you're finding out they're not coming back. Your person may have gotten married or they may have, you may be finding out that they've gotten someone else pregnant. I'm so sorry if that's the case. I can only imagine. But you also have friendship. I think you're going to be leaning on your friends during this time. It could also be, God, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. It could also be, um, what I'm feeling is like losing a job or finding out that because of COVID you're going from full-time to part-time. I really hope I'm looking in the right place. <laughs> um, something like that. Something is final and the door is closed. But you have friends that you can lean on that are there to support you during this time. That's kind of the bittersweet silver lining, okay? That's for a group of you. It's not going to be for everybody. That's very specific. All right, let's look at the Moonology deck. Messages for Sagittarius. Um, also, we're only we're doing all Oracle, no Tarot. No time for Tarot. Messages for 
Sagittarius, December 14th, 2020, please. Messages for Sagittarius, December 14th, 2020. Messages for Sagittarius, December 14th, 2020. I'm hearing Ingrid Michaelson, a singer. I'm hearing a bunch of her songs. I'm hearing, at first I heard Be Okay, and then I heard um, Keep Breathing. All that I know is I'm breathing. Um, there's another one that I'm hearing. I don't remember the name of it. If I, if I can find it, I'll post it in the description box below, probably tomorrow, okay? Ingrid Michaelson, though, in case that rings with anyone. Messages for Sagittarius, please. December 14th, 2020. Messages for Sagittarius. What's coming in for Sagittarius? December 14th, 2020. Messages for Sagittarius, thank you. Messages for Sagittarius, thank you. Messages, thank you. So top of the deck, we have nothing is yet set in stone. Bottom of the deck, we have a new romantic cycle begins. And then you have Don't Let Pride Get In Your Way, New Moon and Leo. Show the World the Real You, uh, new, Full Moon in Aquarius. A Time to Give Rather Than Take. I'm just getting this very cushy energy, like you're just, you're kind of hit with something. Maybe it could literally be just finding out that your ex that you've been waiting on is in a relationship with somebody else. That could literally be it. And it kind of hits you a little bit kind of takes your breath away. Okay, we're gonna pull from Romance Angels. We do have a new romantic cycle begins. We did have that. I normally don't take those cards reverse because in the book there's no um, description for the reverse cards, but I am getting a feeling like that uh, re new romantic cycle begins, that was reversed. Some of you might be hearing from an ex, but I feel like it's not the ex that you want. It's not the ex that you're thinking of. It's like the one you probably could have gone your whole life without ever hearing from. Messages for Sagittarius, please. December 14th, 2020. Messages for Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius, December 14th, 2020. Messages for Sagittarius, December 14th, 2020. Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius. What's coming in for Sagittarius? Messages for Sagittarius. Thank you. It's a fat. Okay. Oh, oh, there's a bunch of cards under here. Didn't realize that. Okay, otherwise I wouldn't have kept pulling. Two groups. There's two groups. I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out where to look. Two groups of you. First one. Love yourself first. Pay attention to the red flags. Engagement. Who is texting me at this hour? Okay. This could be the one you've already... Okay. So everything that happens in a reading is part of a reading. So how... <laughs> Who is texting me at this hour? I think you're going to get some, some texts like that. Some drunk texts maybe. So for this group... 
This could be the one, engagement, pay attention to the red flags and love yourself first. Okay, this group Interesting. I'm picking up on a bunch of different Sagittarius's, okay? Or you have two paths. This one, I feel, okay, this is for my singles, single Sagittarius's. Love yourself first, pay attention to the red flags, engagement, this could be the one. This is a new person. This is a new cycle that's entering. I think as long as you are clear and concise and honest and keep an eye out for these red flags, this will escalate quickly. Yeah. And you feel good about it. This is not someone that you typically go for. I'm seeing a ginger. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. But it's like, you're like, mm. it's like that guy like on Tinder that you're just kind of not that excited about. And then you go on a date and you're like, wow, he's really great. And then like three months later, you're engaged. It's that kind of situation. Now, for this other one, we have, it is safe for you to love, retreat, reconciliation, let your friends help you. This is for those of you where an ex is definitely coming back. So let your friends help you is all about calling in your spirit team. Um, your spirit guides, your ancestors, archangels, regular angels, um, whoever you work with, goddesses. I personally work with um, Hikati and Lilith all the time. Um, and Sekhmet, I work with dark goddesses. <laughs> so um, whoever your spirit team is, call them in. For those of you where it's an ex coming back, it is safe for you to love, okay? And then top of the deck, we have new love, calling in your soulmate, um, worth waiting for. So that's going to be for an all, yeah. And then bottom of the deck, getting to know each other. That's for an altogether different group of you. So we have singles. We have singles, but an ex is coming back. And we have, um, I guess this would be like the single single card where you're manifesting a soulmate and they come in, they were worth waiting for and you're getting to know them. Yeah, beautiful, okay. Everybody's got love coming in, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, that's good energy, I like that. It's very different. All right, so now we're gonna do um, messages from the person. This is gonna be for those of you that are waiting on a counterpart or you're just waiting on, on an ex to come back. Messages for Sagittarius, December 14th, 2020. Messages for Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius. And your summit flipped. Okay, so we got one card. Hmm. Messages for Sagittarius, please. Messages from Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius. December 14th, 2020. Okay. So the first card that came out by itself was even though we shouldn't, I still want you. Oh man. Then we have Ghost. I won't stay for very long. I'm sorry. And we have so much has happened between us in the past. Can we make it work again unresolved within a year or more? So you have some time to prepare, okay? Bottom of the deck, we have, yeah, absence as more time passes by. I feel a deeper void without you in my life. 
So the feeling that I'm getting is for those of you that are getting into a relationship now, it's going to work out and you're going to be really happy. And then in a year or more, this, I'm feeling twin. I, I'm going to say it. This twin flame is going to come back and be like, want to meet me at a hotel? Let's meet up for a drink. Careful. No judgment, but karma exists, okay? So just be careful. All right. Now we're going to pull from the Twin Flame Journey messages by um, Mystic Moon. Messages for Sagittarius, please. <clears throat> messages for Sagittarius, December 14th, 2020. Messages for Sagittarius. Messages. Thank you. So we have, being a part has been life changing for me. If I knew then what I know now, I would have made different choices. I'm not the same person that you remember. Top of the deck. I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions. Our connection still affects me, bottom of the deck. That resonates for some of you out there. And then, okay, so now we're going to pull 16. Okay, I'm just looking at the time. Let's go ahead and pull. This is Spirits of Darkness and Light Divination deck by Mystic Moon Oracles. It's basically like a shadow deck, it's just not as intense as using like the El Goliath, which is an actual like shamanic shadow deck. Messages for Sagittarius. It'll just give us an idea of the energies at play. Thank you. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So we have Spirit of the Wolf, Loner, Fierce Instincts. Spirit of the Tower, Surprises, Shifts, Big Changes, Tower Upright. Spirit of the Fox, Sly, Cunning, Strategy. I think you guys know where this is heading because we also have spirit of communication, love letter, email, text, phone call. Knight of Wands energy, you guys. Top of the deck, we have spirit of the dummy, weak, follower, clueless. It's reversed though. Somebody's not dumb. Bottom of the deck, we have spirit of the flock, gossip, rituals, posse. Be careful. If you know this person is with somebody, gossip, okay? I feel like it's not going to stay a secret. Not that we should, not that we should ever care what other people say or think about us. I just think it's going to cause drama in your life. And why create unnecessary drama? Especially for somebody who's going to friggin' ghost you. Just ask, is it really that good? If it is, I'm jealous. <laughs> Messages for Sagittarius, please. December 14th, 2020. This is just more energies that might be at play. Sagittarius, thank you. Any other messages for Sagittarius, December 14th, thank you. Okay, this is a new group. December, thank you. I can always tell when it's separate from one group because it will fly out to the other opposite side of the table. Group one. We have received. This is usually like um, message received, energetic message received. It's usually pretty indicative of a twin flame, high level soulmate telepathy. And then we have pride and ego with spring reversed. No fresh start is what I'm getting from this short-lived now or there's just no start group two. Oh boy okay so we have stuck have patience we have destruction reverse tower reverse this is recovering from the tower gaining your footing again 
return. Make sure this is what you want, please. If at nothing else, if you listen to nothing else that I have to say, make sure this is what you want and manifest it. Make sure this person at least comes to you correct. I really hope I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> I'm so blind. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, guys, just be careful, okay? We have action reverse, top of the deck. Underneath that, we have deception. Bottom of the deck, material world. Okay, Sag, this was a little bit heavier than I anticipated. Um, be careful, okay? Make sure this person is coming to you correct, if nothing else. And just make sure that you're crossing your eyes. Crossing your eyes. <laughs> I don't know. Make sure that you are dotting your eyes and crossing your T's, okay? Make sure that you're not getting into something that you don't want to get into. I love you. I will see you very soon. Bye.